Oh, sparkling water. Whoa, uh, that went down the wrong tube. Well, hello there again. Uh, just getting, oh, my infinity gauntlet is off. I cannot get started without this. It's from the movie Inve Avengers Infinity War, and I'm obsessed with it. I've been having a little bit too much fun with it. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> Yikes. But right, anyways, on to this video. We have a huge problem that I need to discuss with you today. Oh, and is I'm... it the fact that you haven't uploaded for almost like six months after saying that you were back again? Uh, no. But oh, it... is it the weight gain? What? It's just that you look about 20 pounds up, so. Oh my god, no, and I'm not 20 pounds up. I'm 22 pounds up, and people can't even notice because I'm 6'4", so it distributes evenly. Right, totally, that's what I was thinking. Totally can't notice. No, I was just gonna say that uh, my sleep schedule is really, really, really messed up, and so I'm making a video to try to help fix that. Oh yeah, no, that's a huge problem that's literally destroying your life. Yep, so let's talk about that. <laughs> so there's something about me that I would love to talk about with you in this video, which is a huge problem of mine, my sleep schedule. Those three words don't seem so scary, but those three little words don't do the severity of the problem that much justice. Because the more honest, thorough version of what those three little words mean is actually a lot darker and equates to 29 words. And those are, I am completely and radically nocturnal and I do not wake up for anything ever. And I have 0% of a sleep schedule or schedule of any kind at all. In fact, so many of my friends and even family members have asked me, what do you do with your days? The answer is, you guessed it, sleep. I sleep during the day and I come to life at night. So as a radical experiment, in order to self-improve, or at least to try, I thought that I would try to wake up every morning at 5 a.m. for a week. A work week anyways, five days. I know my limits. And to see in those five days how much I can accomplish. Also, I am highly interested in seeing this thing that I've heard so much about called the sun. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't like that joke any more than you did, but I'm being serious. I haven't seen the sun or mornings of any kind and longer than I can remember. And that's not okay. But honestly, I have been like this since I was a kid. <laughs> I was like this in high school, but as an adult, this problem has gotten particularly out of hand with me. Like a couple weeks ago, I told myself that I would stay up and at least if I was gonna be up that I'd do my taxes. Um, but instead, what I ended up doing was getting pizza and watching Avengers Infinity War. Even though I've seen it 12 times, 13 now. Oh! Was it fun? Yes, of course, Infinity War is perfect. How couldn't it be? But was it hedonistic and super inappropriate for me to be doing that? Yes, of course. And I'm okay with being a night owl. I don't think that'll ever change about me. I will always be a night owl. Like staying up till two or three and waking up in, in the morning-ish. That's okay. But what is not okay is sleeping until 9 p.m. and going to bed at 9 a.m. That's <laughs> not good. But you and I, in the course of this video, we're breaking the cycle. So the first step in getting started with all this is that I watched a ton of videos about this. People waking up at 4 and 5 a.m. and generally it was like beauty gurus and, <laughs> and like military dudes. <laughs> which I don't have anything <laughs> in common with any of those. But after watching a bunch of these videos, they had some rules to live by, like a code of conduct if you're gonna start doing this. Do not touch your phone for the first hour of being awake. Go outside every morning, you get the sun, you get the oxygen, and there's something about like melatonin or skin or something, I don't know, but they say it's good. Will Smith, that's right, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and <laughs> the new genie, I had this to say, and this was incredible and probably the best rule that I read about this, or advice rather. You don't set out to build a wall. You don't start there. You say, I'm gonna lay this brick. You do that every single day. And soon you have a and wall. And soon you have a wall. So the idea is that change happens little by little, and as long as we go into it feeling that way, we can actually accomplish it. So I'm going to go about this with two very dead simple rules. Rule one, wake up at 5 a.m. Rule two, accomplish one thing a day. That's it. Why so simple? Why not more ambitious? Because really ambitious isn't in my nature, and secondly, because I trust the new genie. So that's it. Two things, wake up at 5 a.m., get one thing done a day. And then at the end of the five days, I'll reveal if it was life-changing. So let's start day one right now. How can I start day one right now, you ask? Easy, I haven't slept in 23 hours straight in order to prepare my sleep schedule for this. Also, it's currently 5 a.m., literally right now. I've waited for 19 minutes for me to get this shot. Look at that, see? So no, I didn't have to wake up for it. And yes, I'm a sleepless mess. And yes, I feel sick. All the same, this is day one. So let's get started. Let's pass down. 
Oh, wait, sorry, sorry to interrupt the title card, but I forgot to um, say this, and it's very important. At the end of the five days, I'm gonna be flying to Japan to see Avengers Endgame. Un biglietto per Tokyo, per favore. And I've wanted to go to Japan my entire life, and I've been waiting to see Avengers Endgame for arguably 10 years now, and I'm so excited that I could throw up all over my shoes. That, did that look cool? Let's get started! Never take it slow. Tell your girl to tell a friend that it's time to go. This is crazy. Sorry, I'm out and about. It's still dark. I don't know when the sun comes up. I think 6.30? What I'm doing right now is, uh, well, I'll tell you what I mean by making an alarm clock. Because we have a very specific task to do today. But I'd rather tell it to you over a breakfast burrito. What? I'd rather tell it to you over a breakfast burrito. Also, I'm drinking an energy drink. So, it might not be my healthiest morning. But it's a start. Oh, look at this. They just put this Chick-fil-A in my neighborhood. Get out of here. Go somewhere else. Get out of here. This is great. I'm at a stoplight. What do I look like? Like, like I'm angry because of Chick-fil-A, get it? I was fuming out my ears. I really got to stop being everything that I am. I'm here. Hey, I love this place. This is Bob's Big Boy, and it's been around for a million years. Hi, I'm Big Boy. Open tonight. Open every night. A breakfast your mother would be proud of. Open 24 hours. Bob's Big Boy makes great hamburgers. Lots of good things to eat. Look at him. <laughs> what are you gonna do with all that hamburger, champ? It's too much hamburger. It's too big for you. <laughs> Whoa. Calm down, dude. Calm down, dude. Oh my God, this is the most haunting thing I've ever seen. Look at the reflection in the Starbucks window of Bob's big boy. Judging me. Jesus, Bob. Where is that even? Oh, where is it coming from? Am I dead? Did I get in a car crash? Is it Bob's? Is that Satan? What is this? Oh, why am I scared? I get scared in the mornings. Oh God, I want to start a religion and it's all about breakfast burritos. It's something about breakfast burritos. When I eat them, I genetically respond to it. Maybe it's on my ancestry, like, May, you know, maybe my ancestors were the first ones to make breakfast burritos. And it's my secret family recipe for generations. Back a hundred generations. Shut up. Just shut up and talk about the video. What, what are you doing today? Here's what's happening today. So we have to make an alarm clock. I know you're going, oh, that, what? That doesn't make any sense. Alarm, just get an alarm clock for $4 at Target. No, the process of getting myself up when I have to get up is nothing short of insane and slightly embarrassing. So we have to build an alarm clock, a special one. But let me get back to my place and show you what it takes to wake me up. <laughs> oh, sorry, hang tight. I didn't realize they had the biggest meme board I've ever seen in my life here in this diner. <laughs> that's me after my burrito. And that's me thinking about getting another burrito. And that's my conscious saying, you're supposed to be better than this, don't get another burrito. And then that's me doing it anyways. And then because of my choices, that's me in like 11 years. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I'm okay, the burrito was coming back for a second, but I swallowed it. Back down. I cannot get over this. There's nobody on the road. Wait, can I do whatever I want? Okay, listen, I don't know if this is illegal, and if it is, then just trust me that this is a very elaborate CGI. Don't worry, I'm not actually doing this. But if no one's awake, why can't I drive on the sidewalk like I'm in Grand Theft Auto? Also, I buy a lot of this stuff. I have like 20 cans of it because it makes me feel like Storm from X-Men. Watch. I summon the full power of the storm! So, why do I want to take this first day to build an alarm clock? Because I need to. I literally need to do this because what it takes to wake me up is this terrifying process. I have to set many, 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 many alarm clocks. First, I have an iPad that I have to set the alarm clock on and then I have to set it in a high place. So I have to like get up and then, you know, stop the alarm in the mornings. But it doesn't just take that. Secondly, I have to do the same thing with my iPhone. I have to like set it and then put it somewhere out of reach. Thirdly, if that's even a word, I do the same thing with my uh, iPod Touch. Fourth, fifth, I don't even know what number I'm on. I have to do the same thing with my uh, MacBook Pro, which is a big gun because it's loud. Oh, but that's not all, of course I have something called the Shake Away. Let me get it. Not sponsored, but this thing is incredible. I love this thing and I've had it ever since I was like 18 years old, I think. What is that? What is that? You just set the time on it and then it does exactly what it claims to do. It shakes you awake. So I have to set this and then I have to put it under my pillow and it vibrates violently. Oh. Lastly, and this is the strangest one. I have this very odd Japanese um, mat alarm clock that you have to set the time for and then it plays this really loud like Japanese song thing. And then you have to stand on the mat for three seconds for it to go off. So you physically have to get up for it to stop playing this sound. And I know this all sounds like a joke and I really wish it was. This is a, a, a real thing that sucks. <laughs> that I have to do every time I need to wake up. The thing about this that sucks, and this is just like the obvious thing, what a nightmare. Here's a reenactment of the hellscape of a sound that I wake up to when I do this. Knock, 
great, not great at all. And psychologically, it's a terrible way to start your day. So that's gotta stop. So moving on, what we're doing today is I'm going to sort of make a custom alarm clock that first of all is loud enough to wake me up and secondly makes me walk outside to turn it off. I'm going to use computer speakers, put the computer speakers in my room. And by the way, I'm gonna have to glue the volume button shut so I cannot access it or like turn it down. And then there will be like a auxiliary cord that goes all the way to this fourth generation iPod touch. And this will be in a little like shed in the back there. And yeah, so I'll just have these, uh, you know, the alarm clock set for 5 a.m. every day, bro. And I think that'll work. And funnily enough, I've thought this for like a couple months now that I wanted to do this. So I went out and purchased a bunch of things maybe about like a month ago. So I actually have a little footage of me getting these supplies. I don't even know what I'm looking for. <laughs> okay, I've actually been thinking about a little CD player for my kitchen. Would it hurt you to give him a chance, Belle? Would it? Oh, there we are. Okay, I found some speakers. Woo! I think this is what I need. Okay, so here I have seven six-foot cables, which that should give me, obviously, six times seven is, um, Uh, 40 something, 40 something, 32, one, 40 something. I should have enough. I need to leave this store. Goodbye. In this octopus invasion electronic store, I found these uh, companion speakers. It's a 50 foot cord. And then we have to figure out what sound I'm gonna wake up to. And I think I have an idea. Right, but let's build this alarm clock. Weird sentence. Ugh. Turns out this process was really boring to watch, so I'm doing this instead. I should have known that watching me make an alarm clock would be bad, bad content. content. Also, I don't know how to make music, that's why this sounds bad. But I think it's better than making you watch me play with some chords. Anyways, this really sucks, so if you don't mind, I'm gonna skip ahead to the part where I say that it worked, which is the next part. It worked! I'm gonna show you something beautiful. So now, I, we just have to find the sound that I'm gonna wake up to. But first I need to super glue because I was not kidding about gluing the volume button. <laughs> I think that's enough, and by enough I mean way too much. Okay, so here's my thought process. I brought this little iPod Touch inside because I have to load it up with one thing. Because in my head I thought, well what would be a cool thing to wake up to? What would like, be pleasant and like get me excited to face the day? And I mentioned earlier in this video, I'm flying to Japan to see Avengers Endgame. So I figured, psychologically, the coolest thing to wake up to that would get me excited would be the voice of... <laughs> Well, Thanos. Who, who needs church bells or whatever the iPhone comes with? Take a hike. I'd rather take the voice of Thanos. Dread it, run from it, destiny arrives all the same. I don't know if that's a dark thing to wake up to, but it'll get me excited. That was, of course, a visual representation of me downloading it because that would be very boring for you to watch me convert an audio file into a mp3. Okay, wait now. Wait, what am I doing? Who am I? <gasps> I've done it. That's day one. I did something, uh, 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 productive. Great job. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. That's exciting for me. I am going to stop filming right now, even though the sun hasn't come up, um, because that was my day one. So I guess at this point, I'm gonna live the rest of my day, and then I'm gonna set the alarm clock and everything and get it all figured out. I'll go to bed tonight at some point, and we move on to day two. <laughs> Okay, so I'm already kind of breaking my rules a little bit because I told myself that I wouldn't film my days. I would just film like one thing of the day, which I already did. So right now I'm going to bed. As for what I did today, after I did the alarm clock stuff, I had a kind of productive day. Whatever, it doesn't matter what I did today because I did the one productive thing already. So right now it is nighttime, 11.45, and I will be going to bed right now in order to actually wake up tomorrow, which is crazy. But I haven't slept for a really, really, really long time, <laughs> which I know isn't great. This is what I sleep in, by the way, is a uh, Poetic Justice shirt. Um, poetic Justice is a really great movie. Starring Tupac and Janet Jackson. Poetic justice. Just in case you guys didn't know. But okay, ah, everything's set. So if all goes as planned, the next thing you see will be me waking up at 5 a.m. And I have a big, exciting thing planned for day two. So I will see you in a few seconds, but I will be starting my new life. So, <laughs> see you in a sec. Okay, good night. Oh no. <laughs>
at the time is currently 622. So if I'm doing the math right, that means that I just slept for 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. Wait, am I doing the math right? How long did I just... Oh my God. Did I just sleep for 19 hours? Oh my God, that's insane. There's just 19 hours of footage of me sleeping on this, apparently. Oh, I told myself I wouldn't look at my phone. But it doesn't matter because I already failed the, the second day. Oh, hi, Thor. Okay, I'll put on my hat. <laughs> Good morning. Let's talk. <laughs> okay, there's actually a little bit of daylight left, so that's positive. Okay, I failed. There's not much to process. I'll go get, I'll get up with soda water. That'll wake me up. Oh, I found more than soda water. I found some old soup. About one bite left. <laughs> Mmm, wow, this really enhances the failure of the whole ordeal. <laughs> my alarm clock didn't go off. I need to find out why it didn't work though. What went wrong? Let's go investigate in my sad little shed. Okay, this is dead and this is why. Because this is loose. This one is worn out and I didn't know. And because this is an actual piece of shit, the charge lasted for probably like a couple hours. You want to know what I was going to do today? You know what? This is fitting. This is fitting. This sad little shed. There's a cemetery by my house. And I was going to walk 10 miles in that cemetery for like a fitness thing, but it didn't work out. I have a new day two activity. Get ready. Let's play the piano. Day two activity. Playing the piano. Wait, how do I? Oh, sick. No, I turned it off. Okay, you know what? Just stop. Really? Yeah, put the piano down. Okay, I will. Yeah, today was a failure. I know. Like, completely. I know. You know what? Who cares? <laughs> We failed today, who cares? We're going back in. Next thing you can see, day three. We're gonna do it right, it's gonna work. I've done the troubleshooting now. And truly, tomorrow, there's something really cool going on. All right, hope you enjoy day two of the new me. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh. Dread it, run from it, destiny arrives all the same. Oh, brother. Oh, he's springing out of bed. Oh, he did it. Y'all are nervous, huh? Yeah, you're nervous because I'm taking over the world. <laughs> Your boy did it. I woke up. It's actually 5 a.m. Last night I ended up getting to bed at like, uh, I don't know, probably like two-ish. I feel weirdly energetic right now. So today we're going to attend Coachella. <laughs> And by Coachella, I mean Morgcella. That's funny. Which is a Coachella that Morgan is putting on in Shane and Ryland's backyard. You probably already know this because I guarantee that she got her video up before I did. So <laughs> I was told to prepare a look, a look for me and a look for Benjamin. Ew, I almost threw up. Okay, I'm gonna prepare my Coachella look, which will end up being <laughs> exactly what I wear every day. Oh, but you know what I can do? I have this like piece of material. You see this? Today, it's gonna be a little sundress for this cutie. Huh? What do you think about that, Benjamin? Little rat, little Coachella rat. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go on a little morning walk. I'm sorry, I'm just... <clears throat> so this is a morning. Oh, a newspaper. So I've seen those in movies where they show mornings. There's a boy on a bike who throws them. <laughs> Oh, mornings are crazy. <laughs> you know what excites me the most about this particular Coachella, besides the fact that I know that Morgan and Shane will probably have a lot of guacamole there, is that I know everyone there, and uh, no one's confident enough to uh, remove their clothes, like a lot of people at Coachella do. So we'll all be fully clothed Coachella goers. Is it working? I don't know, is it, is it recording? Andrew, you can't, no, you can't record. I is was gonna working? record. Hey, Shane, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Sidelines fully clothed. Go, I know. Hey, Ricky. <laughs> 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 oh no, get up, Andrew. I don't know. Honey, move it or lose it. Oh. Should we be leaving while Ricky's performing? The only performer of Morcella. Tell them to take a five minute break. <laughs> take a five minute break. Take, take a five minute, minute break. break. Oh wow, 
Oh, cute. <laughs> hey. Good morning. I slept in a little bit today. Just a touch. It's um 6.38. Which, hello. <laughs> but you know what? Okay, come on, come on. Considering how day two went. Okay, so, sorry. Um, today. What am I doing? Oh, today is a garden makeover. <laughs> We're gonna be picking up a friend of mine named Andrew Swicky. Who oh, good lord I love. We're gonna do a little garden makeover in my backyard. Because I have a section that needs to be made over. So why not turn to the help of Andrew Swicky, who also, to the best of my knowledge, knows nothing about landscaping or plants. But you know what? If anything, I'll get to hang out with a friend, do something semi-productive, and we'll see how it turns out. It honestly, to tell you the truth, it doesn't look great in my head because I have no idea what I want to do, but I figure maybe plant a plant. In fact, let me show you right now. Uh, this is the section. Some of you might remember this section. I used to have um, trees, two trees, and once upon a time they were alive. It was cool. I showed it once. Sorry, just a morning burp. I showed it once before in a video. There used to be two trees here, and then what happened was they died. The last people who had this place, they watered them. I didn't know. I mean, I know that trees need water, but I just thought, I don't know, I didn't think about it. And no one told me otherwise, so one day they just died, and then the landlord was like, hey, those are dead, do you want those taken out? And I was like, yeah. Bye, trees. Oh! So, this is what we have now. But look, we're gonna make this over. I'm seeing a fountain. I'm seeing me lounging, freaking shredded. I'm so ripped, I'm lying down right there. I see my boyfriend. <laughs> it's Cyclops from X-Men. Um, Gorgeous tree, as tall as the eye can see. I just wanna put some decor there. So anyways, that's what we're doing today. Garden makeover, <laughs> which might end up looking really putrid. Okay, I'm gonna shower, and then we're gonna go pick up Andrew Swicky. Also, I'm leaving I'm leaving for Japan in like, uh, like a matter of hours. Oh my God. Wait, this is just kicking in. Uh, let me just spoil this for you already. I, tomorrow I need to prepare for Japan. That's what, to, to, spoiler alert, that's what tomorrow's activity is, is Japan prep. I've done nothing. I'm going to Japan and I've done nothing. I haven't done any laundry. I haven't charged any electronics. I should be doing that today because I'm leaving technically tomorrow morning. I have to be up at 7 a.m. to go. <gasps> oh my God. That's crazy. But of course I'm going to go give my garden a makeover with Andrew. Good news. I found a pack of old cookies on the floor of my car. I opened that I don't remember purchasing. There he is. Come on in. Don't. Oh, it seems just like yesterday. You had your car detailed. No, Andrew. <laughs> I think the quote was, I'm excited to keep my car perfectly clean from now on. Andrew, listen, you can only do so many things right in a week. I'm waking up earlier, but look what's happened to my car. <laughs> oh, he's got all the settings. They're all over the place. <laughs> You're sorry, it's not a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. You remember what this was like, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Like riding a bike, BB. Oh, oh yeah. My eyes Wait, itch. cut to the moment of you itching your eye of the other video. <laughs> do I do that? Yeah. Are you serious? So, oh, uh, my eye itches. <laughs> Did that ever happen to you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like some weird psychological thing that when you film me, I itch my eye? Oh, Jesus. It's tea. Let me, uh, let me turn this around here. Oh. Sugar. No, nothing. Are you serious? Yeah, it's a new me. Zero calories. Zero, 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 zero. Although 30 sodium. Yeah. Sodium's not a big deal. The ocean's made out of sodium. And fish live in that. Yeah, but you're not drinking the ocean water. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> the stupidest joke in the world. <laughs> Apparently, I do have a lot of deficiencies. Oh, yeah, your cholesterol's through the roof. No, my blood pressure. <laughs> that looks like olive oil. It is. <laughs> okay, listen, this is what we're gonna do right now. No, don't go for that. Don't sip your tea while you're filming. I wake up at 5 a.m., accomplish one thing a day. That's my whole goal for this week. I just watched a video of somebody doing this for 30 days, so... But have you met me? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're gonna do today. You know the little patch in my garden that I just had the trees removed from? Sorry, how is this related to you waking up at five in the morning? Andrew, I <laughs> no, more you're really. giving me. No, no, no. Yeah. listen. Wake up. I've rule been one. trying to listen. <laughs> rule two is I just have to accomplish one positive thing a day. Oh, I see. Because you know what I do with my days currently? Sleep or watch Avengers: Infinity War. Right, makes sense. Adds up. Yeah, it adds up, and it's yeah. not been great for me recently. In fact, it's been very self-destructive. Man, I slept my day away yesterday. You I felt, felt terrible. After sleeping for one day, I just slept the whole day away, and I was like, oh, I feel awful. It's been like four months of that for me. But that's changing. This is the new me and you are going to help me design well you're going to be my landscaper buddy today because we're going to give my little garden section a makeover oh okay yeah so you've been meaning to do you all right yes i'm fine sometimes i can't find the seat belt well we just go to home depot real quick and then we'll go back to my place and then you'll film me setting up my garden five minutes let's go i'm gonna be in japan in like soon that's crazy i know you know you really should get your car checked out when that light's on there that could be dangerous yeah it's gonna be good i'm not worried about wait it. so what because you want to what edit the video in japan yes yeah, so i'm gonna edit the video in japan oh and my god i thought it could be kind of fun oh my keys it's okay jesus i haven't gotten in a crash in two two months well, you better pull over we're at home depot good thing they got a bunch of lumber we can knock on some wood Oh, <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, I don't have any wood in here, though. I do have a broken wand, I think, in here. 
Where is it? <laughs> you get in the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 this one's not even broken. Why aren't you, why aren't you packing for Japan right now? <laughs> I know that I should be, but this sounded more fun. How long are you going to be gone for? Two, Two weeks. weeks. Jesus. Oh, we're at Home Depot. My backyard is going to be gorgeous. Do you think we'll get a, t should I get a tomato plant? Yeah, we can get a cherry tomato plant. Forget you come over, we start making smoothies. We're getting even so worse. healthy and shredded. I don't think you're going to get shredded from cherry tomato smoothies. Just wait and see, dude. <laughs> can I tell you something? Sure. I found the Blade 2 soundtrack. <laughs> That's me trying to wake up at 5 a.m. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Damn, you've come a long way. Thanks. <laughs> All right, how do you delete an entire memory card? <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> I have to go. Andrew, come on. All right. I'm thinking I've got a pack for Japan. All right. Christmas trees in April. Give me a break. Pretty funny. I'll try it again. Christmas trees in April. Oh, give me a break. Listen. Not. <laughs> You have to be back soon, right? Uh, I got like an hour, yeah. Then we have to be quick because we also have to set up the garden. Is that cool? Should we get just do this and then leave? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think you should get that 100%. Got great news. Not only did I get a cart, but I found some popcorn. Oh, wait, that's everything. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, yes. Now, do we sprinkle a little bit of that in the garden? Oh my god, popcorn plant. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Popcorn garden. <laughs> popcorn tree. I'm thinking like a statue. <gasps> <laughs> I don't want anything living. Are you serious? You're not gonna plan anything? Why are we here? <laughs> it's all dark. You're coming with us, Chief. Oh, wait. We might as well be done. Look at that. Peaches. Locally grown baby. Can I tell you something funny? The girl who gave me the popcorn, she didn't even work here. Oh, like I'm thinking a shovel? <laughs> You're not gonna plant any plants, but oh, you want a shovel. Emoji plant. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Jeez, please do not put that in your garden. <laughs> oh no, God. No. Jesus. Maybe get something to plant. I feel overwhelmed. Me too, I don't know what to do. Look at all those pots. You know what, no one likes the color red. I mean, that's a pretty bold statement, yeah, but. It's true. Oh, free soil. <laughs> I don't think that's you know, carrot. Oh my god! <laughs> you know nothing about you know garden tools. You know nothing about the soil. How to take care of anything gardening related. You don't know what you want. I found what I want. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sorry. Uh, to answer your question, to all the questions you just asked. I know all those things. I've been tricking you. I'm one of the top landscapers in America. I mean, what more do I need, honestly? <laughs> oh, this could be something. That's not even for gardens. Pool floats. You just want to look at the girl in the two piece. Let's get real, Andrew. <laughs> Oh my god, I have a shark swimming around my garden freaking people out. <laughs> it's supposed to go in the pool water. It's not bad. I know what I'm doing. This is the prettiest thing I've ever seen. You need one of those. 100%, not even a question. Garrett, just put it in the cart already. What are you doing? Thank you. We have to go. Yeah. Can you believe this was only $5? 100%. <laughs> I have a little party over there? Gonna, ru we'll do it <laughs> gonna ruin your video. You better hope they don't have any copywritten music playing. <laughs> they turn out Taylor Swift and Prince <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> they all yell, good luck getting monetized if you f <laughs> Oh god, Jesus Christ. Ew. Oh my god, Andrew. Yeah. He almost fell. The flamingo saved his ass. <laughs> I can't believe it. Let's just set this. Let's just set this stuff down in the garden. It's just that they're laughing and having fun. I know. We're laughing and having fun too. Pretty hard, harder than they are. <laughs> What's going on actually though? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go with the garden and set it. it. Well, oh. is that a plane ticket? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mischief maker. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Oh, you want some old soup? No. <laughs> I've got some. I hate that they're out there having a party. They don't own the place. I think they do. <laughs> oh God, this is gonna be beautiful. <laughs> okay, how about... You have to go to another continent very soon. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Oh, okay, how about this? Okay, look, because there's some unexpected things happening. How about I just do this when I get back from Japan? But then you're not gonna be able to put the after product in the video. Yeah, I can. Look, let me just get out of the frame. <laughs> But you can actually stick those things in the ground real quick. Are you serious? Sure. What about Rose? Well... This died seven months ago. Oh. What is it? Well, it died a long time ago, but there's a couple spiders that live in there. <laughs> oh, look, there it goes. Oh, yeah. Well, you put him in the wrong direction. Now he's just facing the wall. <laughs> How did you wait? How did you do that so quick? <laughs> Garden expert, dude. Hello. <laughs> Pointless. <laughs> he just punched the bird in the face. <laughs> look, you... I just don't understand what your, what your end result I'm is. I'm trying about. to have a positive day. I'm trying to have a productive day. I wanted this to be a peaceful zen garden. And, no. you know, I think I've done a pretty good job so far of trying. <laughs> that thing sucks.
Jesus. Oh my god, this is the worst. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you actually broke. Wait, what'd you break? His little ass. Shit, that's no good, Garrett. <laughs> Wait, Garrett, there's too much noise. <laughs> Relaxing garden day. What do you think? <laughs> it's kind of great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take you home. All right, let's take you home. I'm gonna do like this. No, Work too. in progress. Thank you. Better than sleeping. Better than sleep. <laughs> I was trying to make it like a nice ending, <laughs> and then she screamed when you put your hand up for, for a high five. Oh yeah, sure. A little sweaty. from it, destiny arrives all the same. Hello. Oh my god. Today is Japan prep day. I have to prepare for Japan. I have got nothing prepared. And the time is, well, 5.04 right now. And I have to, oh my god. I think I've made a huge mistake. I need to pack for Japan. That's what I need to do right now. I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna take a shower because I, I need to take a shower right now <laughs> and prepare for Japan so fast because I'm leaving in, oh my god, in two, oh, I bit my tongue. That's my knife. I made it when I was a boy scout. It's great. The quality of the craftsmanship, it's honestly impressive for a 14 year old. I need to shower. Which is part of me. What it is, when you get it, if you get it. I have got to be out of my place right now in 17 minutes in order to make it to a plane. This is so funny. Here I am trying to be better at doing things by waking up earlier. And I didn't think to prioritize this. I don't know, whatever. I'm not perfect, but I'm trying to be better. Oh God, lay off, dad. Sorry. I need a backpack. Okay, backpack. I, sh I should have listened to Andrew when he, he, he usually warns me about stuff and then I kind of go, oh, I'll figure it out. I'm kooky like that. Okay, this, that's my, tra oh, here's what I'll do. Oh my God, that's my travel backpack. I'm taking one of these to Japan with me. Also, I'm taking this bag with me. I'm taking this to Japan with me. All I've done is throw those things on the floor. Oh, but I have my passport and $100, which I stole from Benjamin. Okay, I'll take these headphones. Oh, I'll take this James Blake CD. Uh, uh, what else? Oh, that can use that as a towel. I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. I'll get my shoes. I'm just gonna take one pair of pants. This is the only pair of pants that I wear. It's because I'm self-conscious about my legs. I'm working on it. Oh, a ping pong ball. I don't need that. I don't need that. <laughs> There's no more old soup. Oh, sparkling water. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, that went down the wrong tube. Ugh. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm, I'm so late. Oh my God, I'm gonna miss my plane to Japan because I'm an idiot. Wow, wow. Okay, I can't, I never honk, but I had to because you won't move. I made it, I made it to Japan. I, I'm, at, I'm in Japan. <laughs> I've actually been here for two weeks. Maybe you could tell by my beard. Okay, I'm gonna get somewhere more quiet to wrap this video up and tell you what I learned waking up at 5 a.m. I honestly have no idea where I'm gonna find somewhere <laughs> quiet to talk to. Okay, good news. I found a really dirty alley that's quiet enough to wrap up this video in. Boy, they kicked me out quick. For a place called Robot Restaurant, they got tight security. Okay, I found another slightly larger alleyway behind Robot Restaurant. Okay, so what did I learn to... Okay, okay, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, you know what? Security got me again. I'm just gonna go back to my Airbnb. Oh, hello, nice of you to join me um, for this current nightmare that I'm in. And no, there's nothing wrong with your screen. Don't worry, it's pitch black for me too. The power is, for some reason, completely off in this place. And all I'm even thinking about right now <laughs> is freaking Japanese ghost movies and how there are probably ghosts behind me. <laughs> And I know what you're thinking, hot shot. You're going, oh, well, just t t turn your phone light on to navigate and to be less scared or to film yourself. But my phone is at 4% and all my electronics are dead, including this phone in about one minute. <laughs> and I don't know how to charge them because the power is off and I'm going to throw up. I'm so scared. I'm sorry. I did not intend for this video to turn into a horror film. All I want to do is talk to you about what I learned waking up in the morning. And here I am in hell. Anyways, this isn't going to work here to talk to you. But you know what? I'm getting on a plane soon to LA anyway. So we'll just talk, we'll, we'll talk in the plane bathroom. I'm sure that'll work. And if the plane bathroom doesn't work, then I'll just talk to you in Los Angeles. We'll check up on my sad little garden. It'll be a moment. Oh my God, I think, I think a Japanese ghost just touched, touched my shoulder. <laughs> Wait till I'm home.
because this isn't working. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I'm finally back at my own place. Um, sorry the video got a little weird near the end there. I'm just supposed to be telling you uh, what I learned about myself waking up uh, for a week at 5 a.m. And I am gonna get to that, but in the meantime, I would like to ask Benjamin what uh, happened here. Nothing. Sure doesn't look like nothing. It's nothing. It's not nothing, is that your sword? <laughs> Maybe. In the hair? <laughs> Oh, in your hand. You got a pretty generous amount of human hair in your hand. You see that? Whose is it? Nobody! Okay, did anything happen in the bedroom? No! It really looks like your footprints coming out the bedroom there with blood on them. It's nothing! Okay, cool. So you don't mind if I take a peek in the bedroom? No! No! Okay, Benjamin, did you kill someone in the bedroom? Yes! Okay, that wasn't so hard. Just clean it up. Okay, I'm gonna finish this video out here, alright? It was fast. Oh, I am exhausted. <laughs> Sorry my background's not like cute like it was in the beginning of the video. I'm tired, we need to go to bed. <laughs> this is the new me, I go to bed now. Um, no, really though, I feel dead on uh, in every part of my body right now because I jet lag is real. <laughs> uh, Japan was incredible. The next video that I put out will be about Japan. It's doing something that I've always wanted to do, which is staying in a capsule hotel in Japan. But as for now, I'm gonna say what I've finally been trying to say. Waking up early, it's weird. It's not for me. I love the evenings. This is gross, I shouldn't touch my eye when I'm filming. Um, I'm definitely by nature a night owl. So yeah, I don't think super early mornings are for me and they never will be, but what does need to be for me is waking up in the morning. That is something that I have been doing and that I feel really, really good about is waking up in the morning, like I said in the beginning of this video, in the morning-ish. Now I know this video has been a long one, but I was gone for a long time, which kind of leads me on to um, what I'm going to say next, is that usually at the end of my videos I ask you guys a question, you respond in the comments below, but the funny thing about this one is my last question was like six months ago, which is super embarrassing and awful. And my last video was about me getting my ears pierced, which was so long ago. And I asked about beauty modifications and tattoos and stuff, and you guys had wonderful answers, and I responded to a lot of them and read a lot of them. What I'm getting at here though is when I went into those comments, 95% of them were just comments about like me, or my uploading, or my lack of uploading. Um, and they were generally very, very sweet and like good natured. I will admit, without getting into to like the nitty gritty. It's just been a weird year for me and I definitely have been off my game on social media, on my own YouTube channel, which is like terrible because I love doing this. I apologize for that. I'm also not going to sit here and be like, I'm back! <laughs> I'm uploading once a week! No, I, but you know, I will, I'm definitely um, down to try harder because things are um, leveling out and, and stuff in life and I'm stoked about that. Um, so instead of, you know, responding to you guys' uh, questions, I just wanted to say like thank you for your patience and I hope you had fun with this video. I certainly did and I've got a lot of Oh, I've been cooking up a lot of crazy video ideas over the past six months. <laughs> so I'm excited for you to see some of those. As for right now though, I will ask you a question and I hope that you answer in the comments below. So at the end of my next video, we can discuss properly. Uh, the question that I would like to ask you is, are you nocturnal? Are you not nocturnal? What's your favorite thing to do at night? Are you a morning person? Talk to me about like your guys' schedule here. Cause sometimes I start to feel a little bit crazy when I'm like the only one who's up at night. This might not be the most riveting question I've ever asked, but I legitimately want to know other people's take on this. So I guess my question is, if you're nocturnal, what do you like about being awake at night? And if you're a morning person, what do you like so much about the mornings? That's my question. And if you're just normal and you're not like a super early person or a nocturnal person, just like tell me your favorite Marvel movie. <laughs> Wait, oh, but don't even get me started on Endgame. I, mm, because that was perfect. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna chill. And I'm also gonna go to bed. So I'm gonna cut this off. I love you guys very much. Uh, thank you for your patience again. I will uh, see you soon. In the meantime, I adore you. Adios, be good. Don't break, don't break any rules. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with my hand. Okay, bye. <laughs>